What is up, everybody? Uh, it's 5 o'clock-ish on a Monday. I should be working out right now, but I managed to hurt my foot somehow in like one of the oldest man way possible walking on a golf course. So my right foot's bothering me, so I'm not going to ride today. So I thought I would do a live stream, and we're going to check out this. Two... 2021 Zach Myers PRSSE. Um, so far, the only thing I've modded, and that's why I want to shoot this video now, is I've swapped out these knobs. So hold it up. And these are core knobs. And just to give you a good idea and look at the cool top, you can see kind of on the edges. As some people have mentioned, there's either some over sanding or some intentional fading that's gonna happen. Uh, but this guitar is built really, really well for $829. And so uh, title of this video is $829 private stock. Those were Zach's words in one of his interviews where he said based on the fact that it has a uh, painted or body matching headstock that it quote unquote reminded him of a private stock. So I'm using that term very lightly and in jest, uh, but I really like the guitar. It's built really well. Um, the only major issue that I found, uh, the pots are, were a little scratchy. Once I kind of just tweaked them a little bit, everything was pretty good. And there's some tooling marks on the binding on this side of the guitar. I don't think there's any way I'm gonna get this to show up on camera. But on this side, there's some, yep, no, but it's not gonna focus on it. Um, this side, there's a little bit of tooling marks, but when uh, I go to up to see my main man, Hugo, and we do the full mods, and I'll walk you through all the mods that I plan on doing, but I'll give you some intro, of, so I'll play here in a little bit of what's going on. Uh, leave me your questions and comments as well, and they'll, I'll put them up here on the screen. Uh, right now, I have uh, everything you see down here below is turned on and available. I am running through the Fractal. I've got the PRS here in my hand, but I do have the Omega, the Morgan, and the Rev uh, at the ready here to run through clean and dirty tones. I'm going to start with dirty tones because in the past, when I have done a bunch of clean stuff, which is one of my favorite things to do, um, I usually get a little bit of heat on uh, not starting with dirty tones because you probably care more about the dirty tones with this. Now this is a semi-hollow guitar, so it's got the 1F hole up here, um, which is different than my single cut hollow body, which is has dual FOs and it's uh, more of a full hotty, hollow with a center block. This is a semi-hollow. so. Uh, won't we start out with my favorite amp in the world? Uh, I'm going to start out with the Obsidian. And there we go. Actually, I'm going to put this over to the dirty channel. I've got my MIDI controller right here that has everything at the ready for me to go so I can just switch between different tones. Um, right now, I need to pull up. Let's look and see what I have loaded in my uh, Axe Effects. So let me pull up the Axe AX Edit. Um, do, 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 screen share. Should switch to the active app, and it looks like it's only going to pull up Logic. I may need to switch my scene here, or create a new scene, and do a screen share. Here we go. Let's do this. So, uh, yada, 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 thanks for bearing with me. Uh... My main man, Koi, says, chugs, please. Uh, yes, I will chugs. So, I am on the Omega. It is fired up. Oh, I need to turn, because of the setup that I'm using, I'm running everything through the Fractal, so I need to enable that channel so you guys can hear it. God damn it.
All right, there are some chugs. Switch back to the main camera view here. Um, and since I am on the Morgan, let's turn off what I'm not using. Turn off the Rev logos. Just trying to keep everything all clean on here for what's going on. So, uh, yeah, got the Omega on right now. Um, and just sitting here listening to this, everything sounds a little squishy. Now, that is kind of what you're going to get. You're going to definitely get more air in a hollow body style guitar for sure. I also want to look at what IR I have pulled up. And so right now I am using a Justin York. Switch over to the scene right here. I've got my Justin York Mesa 2x12, um, and I've left all the low end in it right now, but we should really be able to tighten up the sound pretty quick. So pop out. Alright, so that's the that's the Omega with this thing plugged in. Um, like I said, the construction on this is really, really pretty decent. I mean, you've, so it's got this three-piece back. So you can very easily see as I hold this up to the camera, you know, they, they got some wood blanks and they slapped them together and it's not as pretty and as matched up as one of the core models that you will see with this top though, um, the one I got is pretty insanely book matched. So uh, that's what's going on here. And again, the original knobs that came on it were more clear speed knobs. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on one of those. There we go. A little clear speed knob. They were totally fine. I just prefer, prefer the core PRS knobs, which I still have magically one hanging up around that's the knob that's on it right now and that's the only mod that I've done to this so far so mods that are planned for this guitar and do I think I need them so uh, I have a core PRS nut sitting right here uh, just listen to the sound of that drop uh, and yes it does need a new nut the, the Tuners and the nut are what I would refer to as sticky. So as I go through the tuning, actually I'm not going to tune, but as, as I tune the guitar, uh, it just feels like the tuners aren't very smooth and or the nut is sticking. So I have ordered uh, a new nut that's gonna go on this and I have also ordered phase three vintage non-locking tuners, which I'm gonna actually, when I take this up to get it modded, we will have to uh, route 
some new holes up here for that. So that's actually, you know, it's not a drop-in mod, but I'm planning on keeping this for a while. So I'm pretty excited about uh, the prospect of, of this. I'm a big fan of uh, semi-hollow guitars as a whole, and at the price point for roughly 800 bucks, I mean, you can't really beat this on price. Now, this one is made in Indonesia. As you can see here by the back of this headstock, if you can read that upside down or sideways or however they actually print it, blah, 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 blah. Maybe that way you can read it. Dude. Um, I think the construction's pretty decent. Um, like I said, there are some tooling marks on here and there are several other people who have gotten guitars where the fading on their edges is not as natural. I've seen pictures where like the whole, like it almost looks like it's a, a three-piece top where it got, got super faded. So um, if you're going to buy one of these, buy from a dealer you trust. Um, I bought mine from Danville Music. I can't uh, recommend those guys enough. They have been very kind to me over the past few months as I have gotten back into the world of PRS. Um, and get photos of the actual guitar. So don't just buy one and not be able to see the top. Uh, that's the best thing I can recommend to you based on some of the ones that I'm seeing. I got very lucky um, and I got sent pics of this the day they got it in. I uh, found out they already had my credit card on file and billed me and we were ready to go. So, um, all right, like I said, I've got the Omega plugged in, I'll do some more chugging on that and then I'm gonna switch over to the Rev and then we're gonna bust out some clean tones. Uh, not much of a lead player. The pickups themselves um, are pretty drastically different from neck to uh, neck to bridge. And I think these stock pickups are fine. Like I, they don't get me excited, but they're not at all offensive in any way. So um, for eight hundred twenty nine bucks, uh, you don't have like the nuts. I would say you, everyone should do that upgrade, which is twenty dollars in parts. And if you're not comfortable changing the nut yourself. Um, probably 40 to 50 bucks in labor and setup, um, but that's the one thing that I think I wish PRS would just put their their core nut on these guitars and charge 20 more dollars or whatever they need to charge for them. That's just my two cents, but what do I know? All right, let's get back into some tones. So now I need to address that. So I just heard my audio cut out. Now, I have been super, I mean, I'm just gonna go on, it's my live stream, I can talk about whatever I want to. So I have been super jazzed up about my Black Lion audio interface for a couple of weeks since I got it. I guess I probably have it a month in a while. I sold my Apollo 8P, made some cash on it, uh, bought the $400 Black Lion audio interface, which I think sounds really good. And in, in all the listening tests I did was very comparable from an output perspective to what the Apollo did. But I started doing some tracking today and I'm gonna go and show you, let's just have you look at this. Cause this is where, uh, here we go. This is the killer. Um, I used to be able to run it down at 32 and 64 with like two milliseconds of output. The core audio driver, which I'm required to use for this interface is crap. And you even heard an audio drop there at 128. I can go up to 512 uh, and I'm even get, then, then getting even a larger buffer size. I mean, this is just, this is just crap and I have a feeling to get that uh, thing down. I'm gonna have all kinds of major cuts, but we're gonna go back and check this out. All right, all right, let's pop over to the Rev, start on the purple channel. So, Rev, 
purple, uh, blue aggression. Go, PRS, yada, yada, yada. What's up, John? John's saying the Axe Effects sounds pretty damn good. Well, that's because it's not the Axe Effects. So, and I need to update the... I mean, I am running through the Axe Effects. Technically, right now, uh, I am not... So, the only thing I'm really using the Axe Effects is it's a switcher and I've got the gate. Um, and then my main man, Shane, says, what do I mean private stock? Shane, that means you didn't tune into the beginning of this video. Uh, Zach Myers, when he released this guitar, said that uh, this reminded him of his private stocks simply because he was able to get a flame maple matching headstock on it. So that's why I put the private stock in quotes. Um, uh, and that's my joke. Uh, it, a $829 private stock. That was his words, and Paul laughed at him when he said that. Uh, but hey, it's clickbait, man. That's what we do here now. Uh, John said, before the Rev, what was I using? Um, I was using the Omega. So uh, down here at the bottom, uh, I've got, uh, I'm showing kind of which amp I'm using. I probably should separate these out just a little bit, but I have them ordered in a certain way. So uh, so right now I can just go ahead and say, hey, I'm not using the Omega anymore. Um, but the tone, John, you were hearing before was my Omega Obsidian back there. It's being routed through the, the fractal um, just basically for a gate. Um, so I guess for the purposes of this demo, I can probably just turn off my fractal logo and find my Rev logo since that's what's currently on. Doop, doop, there we go. Rev, PRS. Um, Shane says, got it. Would I recommend it? Yes, for $829, I think this is a really, really good buy. Um, Semi-hollow instruments, uh, made, and it's made fairly well. Um, pickups are totally fine. Um, I'm going to draw, I have extra pickups laying around, and I bought other PRS parts to upgrade, but I certainly would recommend this for $829. I don't think you can lose. Alright, I'm going to switch it over to the red channel. Rev, red, go. Okay, I must not program something correctly on this, uh, this little beast. Fine. I have another button over there. Um, uh, 
So John says that starts sounding great. Um, yep, that was the Omega, which is still my favorite dirty tone, period. The Rev is amazing. Uh, kitchen sink, all kinds of tones are available. If you could only own one amp, it would be hard pressed for me to not tell you to get that one. But that Omega is just, it's my tone in a box. So right on, right on. Got questions about this PRS SC. Zach Myers, quote unquote, private stock, which is again, laughing about the fact that it has a matching headstock and Zach said, reminded him of a private stock. That's the joke in this video. Red channel is gonna be a little bit thicker of a tone, more recto oriented. Uh, Good old R, if I recommend it. Uh, yes, uh, I probably should just put a text box up here that says I recommend this. So as people are tuning in, do I know this? Um, yeah, I think this is a fabulous guitar for 829 bucks. But that, again, you should be the one to judge. I mean, my one of my favorite features is the satin neck on this thing. So it is not glossy. It is nice, decent mahogany and it's not sticky. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. What's up, Rex? Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, it's good to see you. Now, Rex is using some of my Omega IRs, which I am not using at the moment, but he's a super big fan of those. And if you don't have those, go to my website, www.anthonybest.com. Uh, you can submit a form, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I don't know where you're watching this. You watch this from Facebook, uh, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. You on, uh, if you're on, YouTube, go find my Facebook page. Go do the other thing that you're not doing right now. Just you know, hit me up on all the things. Smash all the buttons. Uh, all right, so I got the neck pickup on right now. Again, I am not much of a lead player, but uh, it this neck pickup is it's pretty crunchy for a neck pickup. I like my neck pickups pretty vintage and weak, and this is a little crunchy for me.
let's get some clean tones going. Uh, I think this will actually allow you to hear the differences in the pickups that I'm talking about. Over the clean amps, um, we're gonna go straight to the Morgan because it's the cleanest of the clean. So back there is my Morgan SW22, super clean amp. It's got some reverb and some delay on it. We're gonna start with the neck pickup. Um, and this amp is super clean, so it should it should never break. Swap the logos out here. I'm gonna have to get more practice on this. We we'll put the Morgan logo down there. That's what's hot right now. So the bridge pickup uh, for cleans, I mean, I don't really use my bridge pickup for cleans that much. I'm more of a neck pickup clean guy. Uh, it sounds pretty thin there. Now these are the 245S pickups. Now in my main PRS hollow body core, my first core PRS given to me by my beautiful wife, it has the regular 245 pickups in it and I really like those. I feel like these have a little less bite in them. Um, and the neck pickup I feel is even warmer on the original 245. So again, I think these pickups are totally fine and it's not a guitar that I'm gonna tell you. You're, you need to go spend $829 on this and then you need to spend $300 on pickups. The only thing that you need to do is pay, buy the guitar, Go on your favorite dealer who sells PRS nuts. Put that by the nut and uh, watch for watch some YouTube videos on how to swap a nut. It's really easy to do it on your own. Go slow, be gentle. Um, get some super glue and put that thing back on it. Um, and this came. It says it got strung with 46 to 10, and they're the new PRS strings. I don't like these strings. Um, everything sounds super thin to me, and I also already had some plating wear on the strings themselves. So, new nut, new strings, set your guitar up in the tuning and style that you like, and you're good to go. So I think, you know, if, depending on if you have to pay tax where you live on your guitar, you'd be pretty under, uh, under 900 bucks, I would think.
uh, shit, I don't even know what tax is. I, I didn't pay tax on this. So, uh, yeah, in general, I'm a big fan. But let's do a little washed out reverb thing because that is absolutely my jam. Like I said, that amp is super, super clean. Let's bounce over to the Omega clean tone because I really like that clean tone. And I think it's a warmer clean to give you a better example of something that's not gonna be super, super duper bright. And I just have to figure out where I put my Omega logo. There we go. Now the other thing to point out about this guitar is it is resonant in the room. So if you're not used to playing semi-hollow instruments, or you, some people call them semi-acoustic instruments, I don't particularly like that term, but this is a cool guitar for, I could sit around in here while I'm sitting on a conference call or something and I could just drum it. So what you're hearing there is just whatever sound you're getting off the, the vocal mic here. It is pretty resonant in the room. Um, and like I said, I think the strings on this right now are tens. I'm going to go up to something a little thicker and I'm likely going to put this in drop C because that's kind of my jam. Um, but yeah, I think again, for the money, I'm, I would say I'm super impressed or super surprised, but this is just kind of what I expect from PRS guitars. So again, the big differences on this model versus other ones are gonna be, you've got your satin neck on the back. There's no sticky gloss that's back here. Um, this is Myers blue color. So my understanding is this is not a, a blue like on anything else. Uh, and you've got the matching headstock, which I don't know if this is the first official one to have this, I believe I've seen this on some SC limited runs or dealer runs that people are getting. Um, but this is uh, specific to that. Um, and there is the old Zach Myers uh, truss rod cover on there. And I am going to replace that. Oh, I had it, uh, I wonder what I did with that. Cause I had mine out here. I just ordered one and I had my name put on it. Cause I'm gonna 
customize this enough to well, I'm gonna put my own name on it because that's how vain I am. But now I have to figure out where I put that actual. Oh nope, there it is. Cash money millionaires. And by millionaires, I mean this cost me like fifteen dollars. That is what's going on. Come on, camera, pick it up. There we go, bingo. That is going on this. Um, it's done in plastic. If I can find someone to do these in metal, I will put these on all of my PRSs. But yeah, I'm so vain that I'm gonna customize this with like the tiniest of modifications and I'm gonna take Zach's name off of it and put mine on it. That's how I roll. Um, so what questions do we have about this guitar? About PRS guitars in general, about what I am doing, uh, why I'm live streaming at 5.45 on a Monday. I mean, we got, got six people tuned in right now according to my live stream stats. Ask me some questions, and if not, I'm gonna go do something else. I'm gonna go eat, it's Mexican Monday here at home. We don't do Taco Tuesdays, we do Mexican Mondays. So, dude. If I don't have any more questions, I'm just going to chug on this with all my amazing Omega. And you can listen to my crappy riffs again. And that's what we're going to do. So, unless I see some questions coming in, I'm just going to chug. And then I'm going to go eat. One last cool thing I do want to point out about the guitar that um, one of the reasons I really wanted this is I don't currently have a four knob guitar. So one of my th favorite things about four knob guitars, two volume and two tone, are I can do switches and use the neck pickup if it's uh, pretty vintage as a clean channel. So check this out. Now in order to do that, I need to turn off the heavy noise gate in the fractal for you to really get the sense of that. of gain through the Omega. Now, I've also got both the room mic and the IR coming through, so you're probably getting some phasing issues.
All right, on that last audio cutout, I'm gonna call this a session and I'm gonna go order some dinner. Uh, so final thoughts, this is a PRS SC Zach Myers. The reason I called this video $829 private stock was Zach Myers himself said he was super excited to get the matching headstock color on this, which looks fantastic. But he said, oh, this reminded him of some of his private stock instruments in which then Paul Reed Smith laughed at him. But uh, $829 versus $8,000. This is uh, a badass guitar um, for, for what it is. Um, I am going to do some significant upgrades on to this just because I'm going to keep this guitar for a while. So I'm going to be doing a pickup swap. I'm going to replace all the electronics in here. I'm going to add push-pull tone knobs to the guitar. Um, and yeah, push-pull tone knobs back here. So I'm going to be able to split everything and I'm going to put some PRS 5909s in this thing. So thank you for tuning in and leaving thoughts in your comments. Um, Hit me up on my website or leave me a comment over on YouTube or find me on Facebook if you have questions about this. I am always happy to chat and give you thoughts about any of the gear that I use. Um, I am not paid or sponsored or anything. This is all my own hard earned cash. So I hope you have a lovely, lovely Monday and I'm about to go order some Mexican food and hang out with my wife, which is my favorite thing to do, even more than playing guitar. So thanks, I will see you very, very soon.